All right, so I got another MacBook, uh, another white MacBook, and I'll show you exactly how much it cost me right now. Take this marker and uh, just, uh, there we go. It cost me exactly this amount. There we go, zero dollars. All right, for those of you that didn't see the, the tape and get triggered easily, I didn't actually write with marker on the MacBook. Uh, it's just it's just a little bit of tape put on and I wrote on the tape. I'm taking that off right now. And uh, yeah, uh, this MacBook, I actually, uh, I went to a flea market here in uh, Avenel, New Jersey. I don't live in Avenel, but it's close around. Uh, I went there and inside a trash can, I was throwing something out and I spotted this inside a paper bag. Uh, yeah, earlier in the day, I saw I saw a guy that was selling it. Uh, it was a hundred dollars that he was selling it, but when he closed his booth, I think he just threw it away. And uh, yeah, the flea market was fun. I got some some shoes for me to restore. But uh, there's something wrong with the computer. It's that it makes a sound when you try to turn it on. Hold on. See, it makes that that beeping noise, and that's kind of it's kind of really bothersome. So uh, I know exactly what the problem is because this happened to my to my uh, old white MacBook, the the one from 2010 I had. I think this one is from 2007. So uh, yeah, th what happens is the RAM gets damaged. So luckily, I have this uh, these extra sticks of RAM, these uh, two gigabytes. There we go. These are from a uh, 2008 MacBook Pro that I had. It's for parts still and uh, yeah we're gonna get started uh, replacing the RAM all right so uh, here's the uh, so, uh, top profile of the computer let me turn that around there's my uh, MacBook Pro which is my current computer and uh, yeah so let's just unhook the battery because the uh, RAM sticks are in here On, as soon as I can unscrew this tiny little thing, and there we go, and it just pops out just like that. All right, so uh, there's the battery. It, it uh, doesn't seem to be bad. There's no visible dents on it. I don't think it's expanding either, which is a uh, pretty good for a computer from 2007. It's 11 years old now, 12, depending on how you look at it. And uh, yeah, you're gonna. I'm gonna just need these uh, tiny screwdrivers. These uh, little screwdrivers. Oh, how's that going? So you just gotta unhook that right there, and and these are uh, these three screws down here, and that's where the RAM is located. There's actually a diagram right there, which I didn't see until later, of how to replace the RAM. It's a lot easier when you look at that. Right, just gotta finish these uh, screws are a little hard. Alright, so I uh, almost got them off, but I, I had to switch to another screwdriver because it seems like that one was too big of a bit. Alright, so we got one screw out, now it's time for the next one. And we got the other one out, now it's time for the last one. Alright, so once you go, you finally get them out, you're going to see that the RAM sticks are right there. What you're going to do is, uh, you're going to twist those little 
latches right there. Yeah, and the, the ram sticks are just going to pop out once you do. Just pull them out. There we go. Uh, these were uh, 4 gigabytes or 2 two per stick. I'm actually buying another uh, another 4 gigabyte thing now because I, uh, I've actually sold this laptop already to a family member. I'll tell you for how much later. And uh, yeah, there's the uh, 2 gigabyte stick. As you can see, pairing it to the uh, 1 gigabyte stick. Now we're gonna take out the other stick of RAM. All right there we go. Now we just gotta put in these. Uh, so as you can see in the video, this actually took me a, a, a little. It gave me a little trouble just to say because I couldn't figure out which way to put it. If you, this is why I was referencing that diagram down below. If you look at the diagram, it tells you exactly in the direction it needs to go. So you don't need to guess or anything like I did. And to be honest, I could have damaged the RAM or the RAM slot doing this, but uh, luckily I didn't. Yeah, fun fact, I actually edited this video on the MacBook that I'm fixing right now. Hm. It's a little difficult. It was a little slow, which is why I want to get the 4GB uh, back. Alright, oh, that, that was just a uh, roll of copper foil that dropped from up above my desk. Alright. So I'm still trying to figure out uh, where to put it, wh which direction to put the sticks of RAM at this point. I should have probably looked at um, how I took out the others, but I, like an idiot, I didn't. So I think I finally figured it out. I think it just clicks into place once I uh, once I actually do get it. To this point, I can't actually uh, decide what direction it goes. I think this is one of the moments I found out which direction it goes because you can see that the uh, the shorter side is on the left. So, like in the there's there's a division in the pins, and there's a long side and a short side. The short side goes on the left inside this MacBook, depending on which side you're going from. Alright, so I think it finally clicked in there. And here comes the other one. There we go. Just making sure that it's uh, secure. Was not. I think right there is where I finally got it. So now we just gotta uh, put back the the uh, sticks of RAM, the the, uh, the cover for the RAM. A little difficult. I, I figured out an easier way to do it later, but um. When I did it, when I did it here, I um, was still a little difficult. All right, so you just gotta push that in. Make sure the holes line up. Now, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but I actually left the uh, the middle hole a little bit too exposed, which made the battery. Uh, it, it made it hard to take out the battery and put it back in. So uh, later on, after the after the video was finished, I had to go back and uh, and uh, 
take off the cover and put it back again right. That's how I figured out the easier way to do it. So uh, yeah, you can see here that, that I can't actually get the middle hole to line up. Alright, there we go. Now for the last screw. Alright, now it's time to put it back. Oh, no, never mind. Alright. Oh, that was just uh, my Mac Pro. I was getting the Mojave update while I was editing this. Alright, so I think I finally got them in. I just want to put back the, put back the battery and see if it works. You see that this is why I was talking about earlier that it, that the way I the way I put the cover back it makes the battery a little bit difficult to put back in. All right, so I finally got it in. I just gotta lock it. All right now, moment of truth. Let's see if this uh this thing turns on. See the mouse is a little the, the trackpad is a little yellowed. Computer is pretty good for its age to be honest. There's only that crack in the bottom that you see. The bottom right hand corner. Oh, I heard the chime. I think it's turning on. Voila. on hopefully this thing didn't have a didn't have a user it's gonna be a problem all right it's taking a little while to boot up I might have to get an SSD for this later Alright, so it's finally uh, booting up to the Apple logo. You saw earlier that it wasn't doing that at all. Right, just gotta wait for this. Taking quite a bit. Alright, so I'm actually just going to cut forward to when the uh, computer finally turns on. Uh, I'll see you in a second. Alright, so the uh, computer is finally finishing turning on. And as you can see, it actually did turn on this time. I guess the uh, RAM worked. So, uh, so it's hard trying to go into a user. Uh, user is blocked. Let me try this one. It just says user. I'm just typing random things right now. Oh, there we go. Password hit. Looks like it worked. Well, there we go. That's El Capitan. It's great. Look, like there's, there's a disc in there already. What's that about? All right, let's see. Let's see about this Mac. All right, so we got a uh, early 2007 MacBook. I think that's what it says. Uh, I think it's like two gigahertz. 
can't really see the screen right now. And I'm, this is a voiceover. Right, built in display is uh, not really full HD. Right. You could play some basic videos, like, uh, 480, 720p. It's not bad for an 11 year old computer. And uh, yeah, let's go to going to storage here really quick. Seconds. Alright, there we go. We got a uh, 160 gigabyte uh, hard drive. It's barely full. I think this uh, computer was white before I found it. So, uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, memory is, we got the 1 gigabytes. No warranty, obviously. Uh, let's check that everything works. Setting preferences. Uh, let's look at that disk. Let's see what we have. Stereo King Souls. No idea what that is, but uh, that's going to trash. Or not. Uh, what else, what else to check? Uh, users and groups, let me delete that other account, just in case there's some data left over there. I don't want there to be any data left at all. I just gotta click the uh, minus sign on one. Make sure that everything there is deleted. You gotta click those uh, two checks. All right, so I think that's about everything. There's the uh, old RAM sticks. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tr I'm actually gonna go ahead and see if those work still. And if they don't, then uh, I'm just gonna throw them out. They don't look as if they work. See those scratches back there? Well, I think that should be the end of the video, then, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. The next video, I'm gonna have a, uh, GoPro Hero 3 Silver, which I got at a pretty heavy discount. I'll, uh, be posting that, um, I don't know, like, a couple days. So, uh, see you guys. See you guys in the next video. Actually, I ended the video just now, and, uh, I forgot to do something. Uh, I have these, uh, wipes that make it really easy to, to clean electric, ele electronic devices, like my phone. Uh, my MacBook, so I'm gonna use it on this just to I don't know, sanitize it a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I said this, but I already sold this this uh, laptop to a family member for a hundred dollars, so that's that's a pretty heavy profit. Uh, the keyboard for the laptop did break almost immediately after this video. It stopped working, not really broke. So I did order another one. That's eleven dollars. So still got an eighty-nine dollar profit. Pretty great. So uh. Uh, I'm officially ending the video now. Uh, see you guys next video, and please look forward to that GoPro video.